What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of McGrath Fishing. My name is Tommy McGrath for those who are new to the channel. Welcome. We got a treat today for you guys, but before we get into that, I quickly want to say that today's video is sponsored by Follow the Action Outdoors. They're an outdoor apparel company that literally sponsors me to fish and film videos for a full-time job. That is my full-time job to go out. Today's a Tuesday at 11 a.m. and I'm about to film an ice fishing video. Follow the Action has the most unique, badass designs, guys. They're all custom, hand-drawn. I really think if you guys just go over to followtheaction.com, check it out. I really think that if you're a fisherman or you're a hunter, you will like one of those designs. They also got saltwater too. And they just released the King Salmon that me and Justin actually helped design. So I think that one turned out pretty well, guys. And that's actually live on the site right now. I'll pop it up, but go over there, check it out. If you guys do want to get anything, be sure to use promo code McGrathFish to save 20% on your entire order. Today's gonna be kind of a unique video. I found these jigs online. 24K gold plated jigs. Is it gonna help me catch more fish, less fish? So that's what we're gonna find out today. I wanted to do this video because I thought it was pretty cool. The jigs were kind of expensive actually for a little tungsten jig. Or I don't even know if they're tungsten. Yeah, they are. We are gonna find out if that helps us catch more fish. But today is also gonna be a special day because Trevor and his girlfriend are gonna be meeting me at this pond today. And this is the only safe ice we have right now. So that's why we keep on fishing it. But she has never ice fished before. So it's gonna be pretty cool to kind of get like her opinion and like what she thinks about it because I mean me and Trevor are always out here fishing so she's gonna get like a little taste of ice fishing and hopefully we do pretty good today we got a giant snowstorm coming in about two three hours uh, I think they called for three to six inches so we'll see what happens guys but I'm pulling into the pond right now I'm gonna do some drone shots little things like that pop some holes before they get there and get ready so without further ado roll the intro We got the gas auger. Even with a gas auger, I literally feel like I'm still about to pass out. Uh, I drilled one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and then 19. 19 holes, all like in less than five minutes. It's pretty badass. All right, that thing's heavy as a mother. I'm gonna start jigging. Super good news, the ice is definitely thicker today. It's about that, so three, four inches, probably four inches. Before I start jigging, I'm gonna start jigging for bass actually with a little Rapala. But when you got snow, a little bit of snow on the ice, sometimes you gotta be very careful about walking out because you don't know if there's gonna be any weak spots so you're not gonna be able to see them. But snow is also a very, really, like it's a really good thing as well because sometimes the fish when you're ice fishing can be super lethargic and kind of like iffy when the ice is so clear because they can pretty much almost see you. So when you got a little bit of snow covering the ice is usually a good thing. I truly do think the fishing will be better today because of this little snow covered top and like the now the ice on top isn't as see-through as it was before a few days ago. So I'm gonna start with this little jigging wrap. I already got one on me. Oh yeah! Oh, -ho -ho! the jigging rod comes through. First drop. That's insane. That is insane. Absolutely insane. He inhaled it too. Look at this. 
Oh, I kind of popped up a little now, but wow. On the jigging wrap. First bass of the day, guys. I said I wanted to start jigging for bass. I'm gonna wait to do that 24 karat gold thing. Oh man, decent little bass to start the day. Ho <laughs> ho, there we go. What a start, what a start. All right, let's get this guy. I'm gonna drop him in a hole over here so he doesn't disturb my, what I got going on. We're gonna get this fish right back to its home. He gone. So this is one of my uh, kind of beat, beater rods that really isn't that well. This isn't one of my St. Croix. I have six pound floral on this uh, by Seaguar, and it's a little bit of a heavier rod. It's a 28 inch medium light. So it's actually a pretty, like a, it's a good rod for a smaller jigging wrap, and that's exactly what I have on right now. One thing I've learned about jigging Rapalas for bass is if you don't get a bite within five to 10 minutes at one hole, even actually sometimes I'll dip in five minutes or less, you don't want fish on you. I like to hole hop, so I drilled all those holes so I can literally just take my helix, take my chair, take the camera, and just keep going and then jigging. I think that will get the most bites, but we're gonna probably set up some tip ups. Um, we're gonna start jigging, I'm gonna start doing that. I wanna do the 24K gold plated jigs and see how much better they are than a normal jig. Alrighty, so I got the 24K gold plated jig tied on. Let's see what it can do. Nice to meet you. Are you excited to ice fish today? Alrighty. They don't got too much ice fishing in uh, North Carolina for her. <laughs> Hi. Oh, you too. I know, I feel like I already like... Today should be good, hopefully. Yeah, I'm excited. If not, me and Trevor suck then. See how, yeah. Alright guys, first kill of the day on the 24K gold plated jig. So it does work, so far. Back in. On the gold one. Trevor and Alexa made it. Alexa has never ice fished before, ever. So this could be your first ice fish. That's up to you. I just kind of Oh, it's flagging up, it's flagging up. It it's moving too. All right, Alexa, come get this. All right, guys, so first flag up. It's spinning. We definitely have a fish on this one. And we're gonna let Alexa take this. I almost just ate sh Okay, so here, lift it up, nice and slow. This yeah, yeah, like grab it right here. Lift yeah, it up really slow. I'll lift slow. it for you. Uh-huh. Now, once you feel it, grab, grab here, the hold line. Here, hold on, hold on, no, go like this. Yeah, get your finger on the line, Alexa. Now grab this line, and then you're gonna go I'll hold straight this. pop. No, no, pull it, pull it, pull. Uh, <laughs> I feel yeah, it on. Yeah, it's on. If it wants to run, kind of let the line go. Try to grab the line. Ice. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. All right. All right, if it wants to run, kind of let the line kind of go back out. That's a good one. Yeah, one. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, if you keep the line. Oh, it's a big one. There it is. <laughs> First ice fish. Hey. <laughs> there you go, Alexa. Okay. <laughs> one for one on tip ups. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks for wondering. Get that one, Tommy. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh. I hold them up. Guys, the first tip up no, fish, no, no, we no. got it. There you go. <laughs> got Perfect. the fisher pose. Yes, no. So what'd you think? What was going through your head about pulling a fish crazy. through a hole? I just didn't know when he was going to pop up. I didn't see him until like the very yeah. end. Yeah, you get the line around your head. Uh, the first ice fish. <laughs> Ooh, fancy. Trevor, talk to me. What do you guys, what do you think for the day? Oh, I'm happy she got her first tip of fish. We're out here for like a little bit. Five, get, ten minutes in. Getting set yeah, up and one. right away she gets one. So that was, Ooh. that was awesome to see. I was going to sweet release. Good. Ready, ready? And. Oh, away he goes. He go. <laughs> he go. <laughs> there you go. go. Nice job. I'm gonna do the knuckles for fishing. <laughs> knuckles for everyone. <laughs> two for two. Yeah. That's a big one. That's one of the bigger ones out of here. Yeah. See, now you got a bass and a gill. What's like normal size of these? Like six to seven inches. That one's probably like, oh, close to nine. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, Alex, you want to home for a picture? I think this is crazy, my new little fish friend. <laughs> Hold it way out, make it look 20 pounds. Yeah. The release. Our next fish friend and the <laughs> so now you got a jigging bluegill and you got a bass on a tip-up. Shoot, okay. Yeah, this is kind of exciting. 
Alrighty guys, so two bass so far, a uh, plethora of gills, and that was actually a pretty big gill that Alexa just caught. So someone coming from North Carolina has honestly gotta be thinking like to themselves of just like ice fishing that. This is pretty wild, just drilling a hole through the ice, catching fish through it. So now she's able to get a bluegill to the ice, and now a bass, so we're hoping for more tip ups. Uh, me and Trevor are gonna get jigging. I have probably about four or five gills, and then I have one bass jigging at Rapala. So far so good, I think the day's gonna get a lot better through when the precipitation comes in the area. We're supposed to get a lot of snow tonight, so I'm hoping that kind of turns the bite on and we can keep slaying them. So me and Trevor are gonna set, I think, one more tip up and then we are good to go. Yeah, what do you got on today? We got Sean. That actually bird. sounds really perverted when I say that. <laughs> <laughs> we got the Smalley Strike. Ooh, FTA. Yeah. New sponsorship. Nice uh oh, support. Trevor. I know, Girl and Masters. Yeah. New thing. Dude, I feel like Jack Frost just blew up my fingers. <laughs> got a fish moving up to it. These 24K gold footed jigs, guys, might be the ticket. Got a lot of action every time I've dropped it so far. Fish comes swarming. So I'm gonna work this jig, how I've been working pretty much all the, oh, I got one coming up to me. Is this better than normal jigs or is it a waste of money? But I'm gonna jig these like normal. I got one on me right now. Kind of draw fish in. I'm still gonna do the same thing with long pops, slow pops. Just kind of get fish to me and then I'll kind of go back to the little jigging. So I hop to a new hole. Oh, I'm actually, oh, I already got one on me. Already on me, come on. Oh my God, I missed the hit, I missed the hit. So this is the same depth over here. I'm just trying to see, is the 24K gold put of jigs worth the buy? They're not super expensive, but compared to a normal tungsten jig, they're definitely more expensive. I'm not too sure about this gold put of jig. I feel like I'm almost getting less bites. Another one? Trevor, how big? Uh, probably like eight. eight little bit. Is it spinning? I almost moved this flag too. Yeah, I like the double hole. In case it's a bigger one. I think he's got it. Oh yeah. Do you mean to land it if you get him? That's yeah, fine. All right, guys, we have a flag up. I'm not really sure if he's on oh. just yet. Yeah, he's on. Yeah, it's still Got him. Oh. Oh. Feels decent. <laughs> not huge, but. Fighting pretty good. Yeah. There's the leader. Oh. Oh, that is a decent Wait, one. Wait, that looks good. Nice. There you go, Tommy. Thanks for landing it, bud. No problem. Where's that hook? Yeah. Right down the chute. So you can't like get out? No. He like completely swallowed it. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. All right, guys, not a bad one. Probably about a two, maybe two and a quarter, but definitely one of the better bass out of here. Mm -hmm. Healthy fish. My first tip like, of fish. My second bass of the day too, which is good. Here, go ahead and clip it. Sweet. All right guys, second bass, third bass of the day. Going back down, my phone just died. <laughs> and off she goes. Nice, nice one, Kevin. Thanks for letting me know. Alrighty guys, so my second bass of the day, third overall. We're gonna actually pop a few holes now towards this side, because that's where we're getting most of our tip up fish. Uh, I'm gonna go back to jigging. And I might jig for bass as well. But so far, this day's turning out pretty damn good. We're gonna actually sit here jig. All our tip-ups are set now. I'll probably fly the drone in just a little bit. We're gonna find out if the 24 karat gold plated jig is truly worth the buy. Yeah, I'll go there. And I've been out there, I've been over here, and I jigged over there too, and I can't find anything on the sides right now. Everything's like in the middle. It's pretty cool taking someone out who's never ice fished, uh, Trevor's girlfriend, Alexa, uh, to give her the first tip-up. Just kind of see like how let her see like how we do it out here. That was pretty cool. So definitely a more unique video taking someone new out here. It's kind of like we're guiding in a way. That's pretty much Trevor's deal over here. <laughs> All right, guys, this is gonna be the true test. I gave Trevor one of the 24 karat gold uh, jigs as well. So we're both gonna be jigging this to find out <laughs> if it's truly worth it. You did have one. Yeah. All right, so it's worth it for him right now. <laughs> Trevor flag. <laughs> you suck, Tommy. <laughs> Well, you guys can play it up and have a, have a romantic dinner. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs>
<laughs> One thing I gotta say is I love ice fishing with Trevor. So guys, right now it's 2.36 p.m. Uh, we've probably been out here for about two hours now. Uh, we've mostly been screwing around with tip-offs. I haven't really been like truly fishing, but now I'm gonna sit down these last two hours and like straight jig only. And if tip-offs go out, we go to them. But if they don't, I'm kind of done screwing with them. And I really wish I had some beef jerky right now. I don't know, guys. I don't know if this gold jig is worth that. A lot of fish, I've had a lot of fish come up to me. I've caught some fish on it, but I've also had a lot come up, look at it, and not want anything to do with it. Definitely not a good sign. Uh, in the previous two videos, I was using a normal gold jig. The one gold jig I used before, I don't know what that is, but then I bought these new jigs. Like I said, I saw them online. I wanted to try them for a video. I just want other stuff to that. No, I'm already too... There it is, finally, on a gold jig. All right, guys, so that's on the 24K. Show you guys a jig real quick. Right there, right in the snoot. Nice little bluegill. There it is, finally. All right, so there's another one. Trevor, they're right off the bottom. That's what I was doing wrong. Got one. Ooh. So I switched up my technique. Instead of sitting about a foot to two feet off the bottom, I'm pretty much like right off the bottom now. And I'm finding a lot more fish coming right off the bottom. Ooh, huge mark. So now I'm literally like a couple inches off the bottom just so I can see my jig and that's how I'm getting these hits now. So even like the tiniest little six inches to a foot can really make a big difference in a bite. Are you off the bottom now, like right off the bottom? The one I'm marking are like a foot off the bottom. You got a bass? No, I have my drag set loose. Okay. Oh, that's a good one. Another one on the 24K. Well, there's the classic haunt we always get, Trevor. All right, guys, I think we've caught enough gills to test out the 24 karat bullshit. <laughs> I'm actually gonna start jigging a Rapala for bass to kind of top off the day. It's three o'clock right now. We're probably like another hour to fish or so, and the snow's gonna be coming. So I'm gonna put the jig away and just strictly jig for bass now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jig for bass too, Tommy. Are you? Yeah. We're gonna get out of here. It's about to uh, start snowing pretty good. I guess we're expecting nine inches now. It got really cold too. I think it's like 21, 22 degrees, somewhere around there, maybe even colder. The bike definitely slowed down, but I'm gonna give you like my overall thoughts about the jig and just kind of the day once I get back and I get in the car. So I'll talk to you guys in just a few short minutes. Trevor's about to take off back there. We got Malax in one week, one week from today. We actually might be in Malax when you guys see this video. So all right, I'll talk to you guys when I get back. Oh, all right guys, that was a little cold at the end, but we, uh, we got through it. So this jig right here, the 24 karat gold, I'm pretty sure I said 24 karat like 25 times a day, but you guys get the point. I would really say the jig is worth it, yes, but I wouldn't really say that it's better than a normal gold jig. I mean, I didn't really see any differences. In the beginning, I did see a little bit that I wasn't getting as many interest as like the fish being interested in that jig as I would the other ones, but I really don't think it makes that big of a difference. I think a gold jig is a gold jig at that point. So don't spend your money on the 24 karat gold. It's definitely, I think it's like a four dollar difference between a normal one it's just gold plated so i don't know you guys can try it out if you guys want you guys might have some better luck but usually at that pond we pretty much slam the gills and we did obviously today it's just i didn't really see a giant difference in it so today was a fun video to film i hope uh, alexa had fun obviously i hope trevor had fun and yeah don't forget to enter mine and justin's giveaway at mcgrath fishing i will pop up the post right here which one to enter to it ends january 29th the Malax series actually begins 
the following Tuesday. So you guys are watching this as in a Friday and the next Tuesday will begin episode one in the Black series. So make sure you like this video, hit the subscribe button, two videos every single week, Tuesdays and Fridays at five o'clock p.m. And we are out.